you welcome to my channel in this video we are going to be talking about partnership accounts which is the second topic in accounting too yeah we shall start by defining what a partnership business is yeah a partnership business is an association of two or more persons maximum being 20 as a co-ownership of a business for the purpose of making profit two or more persons come together and the maximum number is 20 to form a business with the purpose of making profits. Examples of partnership businesses we have auditing firms, law firms, consultants firms, wholesale and retail shops, etc. Yeah, let's look at the reasons why partnership businesses are formed. First is when the capital required cannot be raised by one person. Yeah, when the capital required is too much, so people have to partner up so that they can get enough profits and form the business that they want. Then the experience or ability required to manage the business cannot be found in one person. People have to partner up. And when people partner up, every person has different abilities, skills and experience. So they, they will have the required ability to manage the business. Then let's look at the characteristics of partnership businesses. First is that the sole objective of a partnership is to make profits. Then there is easy formation. It can be all are reformed, written or implied. A partnership need not be registered with a registrar of companies. Then limited life. Partnership stops with death. Retirement, admission of new partners. If one partner dies, the partnership has to be dissolved. If one partner retires, the partnership has to be dissolved. And if there is admission of a new partner, the partnership has to be dissolved. So a partnership has limited life. Then mutual agency. Mutual agency, there is a principal agent relationship in what? In, in partnerships and there is what we call implied authority something like that each partner has a right to contract on behalf of of the partnership unless otherwise yeah mutual agency then continuation of the characteristics unlimited liability however some partners have limited liability like in case of debt yeah. in in case a company is unable to pay its debt they will even the personal property of the partners they have unlimited liability they're supposed to pay all the debts yeah or they are liable for all the financial problems and other problems of the partnership yeah then co-ownership of property and assets since the partners they they own the property and the assets together Another characteristic, normally there is a minimum of two and a maximum of 20 partners. Accounts have no maximum limit. Accountants have no maximum limit, but banks have a maximum limit of 10 partners. Yeah. Banks have a maximum limit of 10 partners. And the minimum number of forming a partnership is two. The maximum number is 20 then continuation of the characteristic each partner except for limited partners must pay his or her share of any debt that the partnership cannot pay if necessary they could even be forced to sell all their private possessions to pay their shares of the debt this is called unlimited liability yeah that's what we were talking about now let's look at the advantages of partnerships yeah advantages of partnerships is business risks are spread among members other than one person yeah when you form a business as maybe two members like you spread the risk in case of anything you are supposed to sh in case of losses you you share the losses so business risks are spread among members other than one person Another advantage, individual partners can develop special skills upon which other parties can rely. Well, as in a sole business, one person has responsibility for everything. Yeah, in, in, in partnership, since the 
different people everyone will come with their skills and people will learn from others so individual partners can develop special skills yeah then another advantage certain partners may contribute more capital resources to expand the partnership in a partnership when you're forming a partnership business it's not a must that all of you must contribute the same amount of capital certain partners may contribute more capital resources to expand the partnership yeah now let's look at the disadvantages of partnership businesses yeah first is that disputes may many disputes arise between partners especially where some partners feel that they are contributing more time and efforts to the partnership other than others are not being financially rewarded yeah they they can get conflicts between themselves as you know it's not easy for very many people to work together yeah they can get very many disputes because of one thing or the other then in many countries partners are jointly and collectively liable for one another this means that if one partner is being sued in relation to the business of, of the partnership the other partners are responsible yeah now let's look at the types of partners types of partners we have limited partners limited partners these are partners with the following characteristics their liability for the debts of the partnership is limited to their capital contribution yeah only their capital contribution you cannot touch their personal property or possession in order for you to solve the financial problems of the partnership yeah their liability for the debts of the partnership is limited to their capital contribution then they are not allowed to take part in the running of the partnership business the day-to-day -day running of the partnership business all partners cannot be limited partners there must be at least one partner with unlimited liability yeah note before partners start operations there must be a partnership agreement or a partnership deed yeah before a partnership is started there must be a partnership agreement that must be signed or a partnership deed and it contains the following yeah, it contains the name of the partnership capital contribution by each partner the ratio in which profits or losses are to be shared the rate of interest if any to be paid on capital before profits are shared then the rate of interest if any to be charged on partner drawings it also contains the salaries to be paid to active partners then the arrangements on admission of new partners procedures to be carried out when a partner retires yeah note where no partnership agreement exists the partnership will be guided by the partnership act yeah where the partnership agreement doesn't exist the partnership can use a partnership act the accounting content in the act will conclude will include the following yeah what is in the partnership act we have profit always to be shared equally no interest allowed on capital salaries will not be allowed if a partner puts a sum of money into a firm in excess of the capital he agreed to subscribe he is not entitled to interest at the rate of he's entitled to interest at a rate of five percent per annum of such amount yeah so the, the, this is the accounting content of the partnership act profit or losses to be shared equally no interest allowed on capital salaries will not be allowed yeah and that then let's look at the financial statements in partnership accounts yeah partnership like other businesses also prepare the income statement the trading profit and loss account and the balance sheet at the end of the period so let's first look at the income statement income statement also known as a trading profit and loss accounts in partnership yeah trading profit and loss accounts in partnerships is not different from other enterprises 
Yeah, but in addition to the profit and loss account, an appropriation account is prepared. So an appropriation account is what differentiates the income statement of partnerships from the income statements of other businesses. Yeah, an appropriation account is prepared. It's therefore regarded to as trading, profit and loss account and appropriation account. Yeah, the format is below. The format for appropriation account. Yeah. Remember the income statement always ends with net profit. Yeah. So after us getting a net, a net profit or loss. Yeah, the appropriation account contains the following. We add interest. We add interest on drawings for partners, maybe partner A and partner B. Interest on drawings, interest on drawings, it's like an income to the business because partners withdrew from the business, took drawings from the business, and when they pay interest on drawings, it's the business that is gaining. So we add interest on drawings for partner A and B. Yeah. Then we less interest on capital. Interest on capital is is an expense to the business because the business is paying interest on capital to the partners. A, B, and C. Yeah. So it's an expense to the business. Then we also less partners' salaries. It's also an expense to the business because it's the business paying salaries to the active partners. Maybe B and C, they were active. Yeah. So in the appropriation account, we first add interest on drawings. Then we less interest on capital, then partners' salaries. Then we get the profit to be shared. Yeah. Share of profits in the profit and loss account, A, B, and C. Yeah, we share this profit between the partners. Yeah, among the partners. Yeah. And the balance sheet, the balance sheet for partnership accounts, the balance sheet is similar to that of other entities apart from the equity section as shown below. We say the income statement is also similar to those, to the income statements of other entities except the appropriation account which has uh, interest on drawings, interest on capital, partners' salaries and then the profits to be shared. Yeah. So the balance sheet of partnership accounts is also similar to the balance sheet of other entities apart from the equity section as shown below. Yeah. So the equity section, we, we always have the assets section where we have the fixed assets and then current assets. Then we come to the equity and liability section. Yeah. So the equity section is different whereby we shall have capital accounts, capital accounts for all the partners, A, B, and C, and then current accounts for the partners, A, B, and C. Yeah, we get the total equities. So mm, this is the only difference. When we are preparing partnership accounts, the equity section will look like this. Yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends and watch my next video which I'll be talking about partners' capital accounts in partnership accounts. Yeah.